Say hello to Frank. Frank is a horseshoe crab, and Frank has been around for 445 million years. He survived five mass extinctions, asteroid strikes, and even the rise of humanity, while everything else was getting wiped off the face of the planet. Dinosaurs? Gone. Giant sea monsters? Extinct. Frank? Still here. So, how did Frank cheat death for nearly half a billion years? Let's find out why one of Earth's oldest survivors refused to die. Even when evolution tried to take him out. The horseshoe crab is older than the dinosaurs. His ancestors have been scuttling around since before the continents even knew where they were going. And even today, the ground beneath us won't sit still. Meanwhile, humans can't even survive a weekend without Wi-Fi. And Frank? Completely unbothered. Everything breathing on Earth evolves to adapt. Except for Frank. He took one look at evolution and said, Nah, I'm good. Frank's not winning any beauty contests, but he's built to last. That helmet? It's been tanking hits since before life had bones. That tail? Built-in self-writing system. And those long, creepy legs? Perfect for scuttling along without a care in the world. No upgrades, no enhancements, no fancy new features. Just pure, unbothered survival. Meanwhile, humans... We've been here for 0.1% of that time, and we've already gone from tree-dwelling apes to cavemen to inventing TikTok. And okay, to arguing with robots named Alexa. And here's where it gets weird. Horseshoe crabs have bright blue blood. No, not royal blood, just stupidly expensive. We're talking $60,000 a gallon. That's more expensive than black market organs or renting your own personal seat on one of Elon's rockets. And if modern medicine has ever saved your butt, you probably owe Frank a high five. But how did Frank survive all this time when literally everything else didn't? Turns out the secret to survival isn't being strong. It's being completely, ridiculously unbothered. Frank doesn't need much food. He doesn't care about the changing environment. And for millions of years, nothing found him tasty. Until humans showed up. Frank and his buddies outlive the dinosaurs. But will they outlive us?